Hello and welcome to ukramedia.com. My name is Sergey Proknevsky and today's daily tip is how to use markers to trigger animation without any keyframes. So without any further ado, let's dive right in. All right, so here we are in After Effects and let me show you what we'll be creating today. So right now I have this in position and out position and these two determine the beginning position and end position of my animation. So it doesn't matter where I place the in position or out position, it's always gonna go from in to out. So that's that. And then we have these two markers. And the first marker determines the beginning animation. So that's why it's called start. And then the second one triggers the end animation. So right now, if I move my time indicator, as soon as I pass my first marker, that's what's going to trigger my animation. And then it's going to play it out. And then it's going to kill it right when we pass end animation. So it doesn't matter where I place the first marker. I can move it in here. And the same thing for the second it will always trigger it. So let's get to it. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is select my logo here and hit P to reveal the position property. And as you can see, we do have our old expression. So I'm going to get rid of it by holding Alt click on my keyboard. And then to create a new one, Alt click again. And in here, I'm going to set some variables. So I'm going to do the first one's going to be start marker. And by the way, this means nothing right now, but we're going to give it a value. So I'm going to say you're going to be this comp marker and then key. And in parentheses, I'm going to determine the index. So I'm saying in this composition, marker, key, and then which one? So it's going to be the first one is going to be that one. The second one is going to be that one. So I'm going to say one. But that's not enough. So we have to determine what do we want from that? So do we want the value, the duration? You know, what is it? So I'm going to say I want the time from that marker. So I'm going to say time. In other words, I want to know where it's located on the timeline. So that's going to be important later on. So next, I'm going to select this and control C, copy it and then enter control V to paste it. And from start, I'm going to change that to end. And so end marker is going to be the second one. So I hope that's making sense. So next, I'm going to select my in and out position and hit P to reveal the position property. And so now I'm going to determine some variables for that. So I'm going to say X in position. You're going to be X in position. Okay. And then next I'm going to say Y in position and it's going to be that one right here so semicolon and then i'm going to do x out position and i'm going to say you're going to be this then i'm going to do y out position and it's going to be the y property right here okay i think this is it as far as variables go so now we're going to do some expressions i'm going to say x you're going to be, and then I'm going to go to expression helper here and then go to interpolation and I'm going to select this ease expression. So I'm going to click on that. Then I'll add semicolon. And so inside here, I'm going to change from T to time. So I want the time. And so I can set to from like zero to one second. But instead of that, I'm going to call out my variable. So I'm going to say start marker. And then for the end time, I want to say end marker. So it's going to start from the beginning of my marker and then end at my end marker. Okay, and so I wanted to go from what value to what value. So in this case, we're on the x-axis. So I'm going to say x in position. So that's going to be my starting position. So x in position. And then for my ending position, it's going to be x out position. Okay, so that's the first one. I'm going to select this. Control-C to copy it. And then enter control V. So now instead of X, I'm going to change everything to Y. So the same thing applies here. Instead of X, it's going to go from Y in position to Y out position. And after that, I'll just determine that in my square brackets. So X, you're going to be X, Y, you're going to be Y. And let's see if this works. So as you can see, it's working great. And now if I move my in position and out position, it's going to go strictly to that. And if I play around with my markers, you can see that it's going to start right where my first one is and end at my second one. All right. Thank you so much for watching this quick tip. I really hope you found it useful. And if you have, make sure you like the video, share it, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on social media. And if you would like to have the project file of this tutorial, you can go to ukramedia.com and download it there. Or I'll include the link at the bottom of this video. But until next time, my name is Sergey Proknevsky and this is ukramedia.com.